Hey everyone, let's talk about something that trips up so many people in the fasting community. Electrolytes. You're doing everything right. You're pushing through the hunger. You're aiming for that deep cellular cleanup called autophagy, but then you get a headache, or you feel dizzy. So you reach for some electrolyte water, and then the panic sets in. Oh no, did I just break my fast? Did I just ruin all my progress and stop autophagy? It's a huge question, and the internet is full of conflicting advice. Some people say only pure water is allowed. Others say a pinch of salt is fine. And then you have all these flavored zero-calorie electrolyte powders. It's confusing, right? So let's get into the science and settle this debate once and for all. First, a super quick refresher on autophagy. Think of it as your body's internal cleaning crew. When you fast, your cells start to get rid of old damaged parts and recycle them for energy and new cell building materials. It's an amazing process linked to anti-aging, disease prevention, and overall cellular health. The main trigger for autophagy is a drop in your insulin levels and the activation of a pathway called AMPK. So the big question is, do electrolytes interfere with that process? The short answer, and this is the good news, is no. Pure, unflavored, unsweetened electrolytes do not break a clean fast or stop autophagy. I'm talking about the essential minerals, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. These are just salts. They contain zero calories, zero protein, and zero carbs. Because they don't contain any macronutrients, they don't trigger an insulin response. And if there's no insulin response, the primary switch for autophagy remains firmly in the on position. In fact, taking electrolytes can actually help you fast longer and more effectively. Those headaches, the muscle cramps, the fatigue, the brain fog, a lot of that isn't just hunger. It's often a sign of electrolyte imbalance. When you fast, you lose a lot of water, and with it, you flush out these vital minerals. Replenishing them can make you feel a million times better, allowing you to extend your fast and reap even more of those incredible autophagy benefits. But, and this is a very important but, not all electrolyte products are created equal. This is where people make mistakes. You have to become a labeled detective. The danger zone is with electrolyte drinks or powders that contain hidden sugars, artificial sweeteners, or natural flavors. Here's the problem. Sweeteners like sucralose, aspartame, or even stevia can, for some people, trigger what's called a cephalic phase insulin response. Just the sweet taste on your tongue can trick your brain into thinking sugar is coming, which can cause a small release of insulin. It might not be a huge spike, but when your goal is deep autophagy, you want to keep insulin as low as humanly possible. Any little bump could potentially dampen the process. And those natural flavors, that's a black box. It could be anything. It could be derived from sources that have a tiny metabolic effect. So to be 100% safe and ensure you're getting the maximum autophagy benefit from your clean fast, what's the verdict?